Happy birthday. Big brother's got nothing on Mrs. Tenby. Everywhere I go, her beady eyes are boring into me. Oh, make that one for me a tea, hot and sweet. Ooh, I hate this feedback stuff. Oh, Mrs. Tenby, I don't want to get Chris in trouble, but I've got to be fair. I think he gets too emotionally involved with his patients. What do you think? And I think Mr. Bellamy has made the feedback process extremely clear. You observe. You note. You assess on what you see and you leave emotions and opinions to one side. Mrs. Tenby, just the way you like it. Well, thank you, Dr. Carmichael. Daniel, have you booked the baby yoga session? Yoga? It doesn't sound like your usual weekend. It's just the start of it. We've run Joe Ragged this weekend. Two days of non-stop stimulation. Oh. Yeah, music class, duck feeding. Don't forget the zoo. I, for one, am looking forward to a petting session. As Mr. Bellamy says, if we watch our colleagues closely, we may see them in a very different light. Take Dr. Carmichael, for example. I mean, she's a very conscientious young mother. And perhaps she realizes the benefits of being a caring colleague. Is that right? Mm. Oh, I can't deal with this now. What about you, Mrs. Temple? What are you doing this weekend? Anything good happening at church? Hey. Well, excuse me, I, I need to get back to the reception desk. I'm off into town, printers out of ink, for my coursework. Mum, why don't you come with me? We can cut through the park, fresh air would do you good. Stranger, I haven't seen you for months, man. Not since. Yeah. How's the youth club? We should come down, see for yourself. Getting a bit old for all that these days. Oh, mate, there's always room for another volunteer. Seriously? And no one can spin those decks like you, mate, not even me. There's only so much HT electronic at the average year can stand. Well, that's where you're wrong. Because Leatherbridge is hottest new radio DJ. You're looking at him. Middle of the road FM, is it? <laughs> Oi, bit of respect. Anyway, how's, uh, how's your mum? Yes, well, there are a few things I'd like to go through in the fine print. Best to be prepared? Hmm, yeah. How best to prepare? Well, I suppose I could always devote years of my precious time into perfecting a groundbreaking piece of medical technology. Oh, wait a moment! I have! So, naturally, maximise on its value. Howard, the patent is in the bag. This is just the final hoop, and God knows I've jumped through enough of them. Then I sit back and enjoy the millions. Yes, well, I did find a patent process extremely complex, challenging, but fascinating. You really have enjoyed it, haven't you? We're wading through wadges of waffle. Fail to prepare, prepare to fail. Now, when we get to the lawyer's yeah, office... Creative genius can't fail. Maybe not, but often the devil is in the detail. Ah. That's why I'm the ideas man, and you'll always be the money man. Don't forget the 360 feedback process. I'm assessing your ability to cooperate. We need to work as a team. I'm ready when you are. Ta. Oh, must be the first cup of tea you've ever made me. I've been practicing. I'm on a lot more. No! It's a lovely day out there. Is it? Well, especially because now I've got the rest of the day off. You, uh, you, you still do that craft market at weekends? Mum doesn't get out much these days. I've been uh, telling Jared about what's been happening down at the youth club. We've, uh, we've had a grant for some new digital equipment and the lads are getting together and making a film. In Leatherbridge? 
Well, even Spielberg had to start somewhere. I suppose he did. It'd be great if Joe would get involved. And it looks great on uni applications. sure you gave it to me, Dr. Carmichael. What did I say I had if I... Yes, Mrs. Tip. Look, it is right here. You are clearly... extremely busy. Well, yes. I, uh... Well, I have not even had time to refill my stapler. That's going to work. I do not know what you mean. Uh, Miss Grantham, uh, Dr. Granger will see you now. Mm. Mrs. Sembe, have you got a minute? Well, if this is concerning Nurse Reed's feedback form, I have tried to make the process as clear as I can. No, no, it's, um, it's concerning you, actually. Has something happened at church? Well, going to church is a little, uh, well, it is difficult. I knew it. Yes, Marquez. What happened with Thomas? It's not your fault, you know, and surely they, of all people, should be able to forgive and forget. No, no, no. It, it is nothing to do with that. And please keep your voice down. Um, excuse me, please. Go through to see uh, Dr. Carmichael. So? If you cared for someone a great deal, and it ended very badly, would you go back to the exact place you knew they would be? You can't bear to see him. The sound of his voice, the sadness in his face. Thinking about how I deceived him, and what might have been. No, it, is, it is too painful. Your friends, the groups, the, the activities that you love, what you, you're just going to give all that all? Yeah, for now, I think it is for the best. Oh, you've not even tried. OK, it's, it's going to be tough at first, but then once you break through the barrier, surely it'll get easier. I wasn't quick enough. They can't have got far, though. Have you rung the police? There's no point. Of course there is. You can't just let them get away with it. Just leave it, Chris, please. Getting off scot-free. That wouldn't be right, would it? <sighs> okay, now hang on. Honestly, Chris, it's okay. You can't let these people get to you, mate. Get to us. Get to us! I don't want. Maybe you should go. Yeah, maybe you should. And don't come back. Just leave us alone. Right, Karen should be back by four. Any calls? Take a message, of course. All right. Room one. Good luck with your meeting. Luck's got nothing to do with it. Yeah, good luck, guys. Come then, Mr. Money. Let's get this over with. Guilt like that's always going to be a tough one. He really wasn't to blame. Well, not in the eyes of the law, maybe. That kid had to pull his best friend from a burning car. He suffered enough. Look, it's great that you want to help, but tread carefully. I'm not sure there's that much you can do. Well, she's just making it worse, Rosemary. You know, it's like they deserve to be punished or something. Well, I can give you the number of a specialist counselling service if you like. That would be great. Don't expect miracles. Chris. Don't tell me. It's tough being a mum. She's probably doing her best. Actually, I was going to say, if you're not meeting your friends in the park, do you want to have some lunch? Oh, um... Well, I want to get this to Jared as soon as possible, but thank you. Okay. Good luck. Oi! Oi! I hate campaign, eh? You don't say. He's only trying to help me. 
And look where that's got us. Jared made a terrible mistake and he can't undo that. I've told you so many times how sorry I am. What else do you want me to do? He needs you on his side. You can't let people treat you like this. What's it got to do with you? Mum! After everything I told you about driving carefully, you've wrecked everything. Jared, why don't you go upstairs, download us those tracks. I'll see if I can get one on a radio show. Subtle. You used to be such a joker. We're all different now. Like it or not, that's just the way it is. It doesn't have to be. How long have these attacks been going on? Weeks? Months? Surely not since the accident. It's been eight months. Can't you see what it is doing to him, to both of you? If you're not going to find out who's doing this, I will. There's no need. We know who it is. Much harder than being a nurse, really. Oh, Mrs. Denby, do take a seat. At what price, Dr. Carmichael? What? I really do hope that no one is shallow enough to think that favourable feedback from me is something that can be bought rather than earned. You've lost me, Mr. Demby. Because that would be an insult to both our considerable intelligence. Ah, hang on. If you're trying to suggest... No, 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 no. I am not suggesting anything. I am just making my position very clear. Oh, I think we should probably hit the road because the table is waiting. <laughs> nice one, Mrs. T. We were just 16. Both scared, both alone. We literally bumped into each other on the maternity corridor mm. and almost bellies out to it. Separable ever since. Until. But if, if Anna's your best friend... Was. She was my best friend. Luke would be 18 today. Instead of buying him his first pint, his mum will be on the roadside where he died. She can't move on, so why should we? Do you really think letting her persecute you and Gerald is helping her? If it helps Anna cope. Just to get through the day, then, however hellish it is for us, it's OK. She never seemed that type to me. Like I said, we're not the same people. It's just... I miss her. I know what you're thinking, Luke wasn't much of a balloon person. <laughs> Water bombs, maybe. <laughs> it's Chris, isn't it? I'm Anna, Luke's mum. I recognised you from the youth club that time. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the cling film incident. Luke's gone down in history for that one. Sorry, I, I didn't mean No, to. no, don't tiptoe around me. That's the last thing I want. May I just say, I've been most impressed with the amount of paperwork you've supplied here. Not everyone realises how exacting the pattern process is, the hard graft behind the razzmatazz, the frantic paddling feet of the serene swan. You're telling me. So, where do we sign? It can take months of meticulous research to investigate every minute detail of every other potential device in every part of the world. We can be drilling down into fractions of a millimetre in a design specification, the most subtle nuances in wording description. We patent lawyers really have to be the 
Hercule Poirot of the invention process. Yeah, I'm sure you provide a wonderful service, so if we could just jump We to... follow the clues wherever they lead us, and we don't draw breath till we get to the truth. Unfortunately, the law of patent pending means that truth is sometimes not easy to hear. Oh? Eh? The path of your blood pressure monitor through the patent process has not been as unencumbered as we might initially have anticipated. Howard, can you translate for me, please? There's a problem. <laughs> that teacher never had a good word to say about Luke when he was alive. Give me yours, then. I'll add it to the display. There's something I just need to explain first. Um... How could she? It wasn't her idea. It was what... Why would I care what she wants? Luke was as good as murdered! I will never forget, and I will never forgive! Anna! Don't you come near me! I hope you both rot in hell! South Korea. You're having a laugh. It was always a possibility somebody was going to get there before us. No, no, that's where you're wrong. My monitor is completely unique. No one's denying it's an ingenious invention, but if another device has been submitted to the patent process, even just seconds before yours, and it's too similar, then... Similar? Look, I know it's difficult for you, so I'll spell it out. There is nothing similar. Our preliminary investigations would seem to suggest there is, in South Korea. Well, your preliminary investigations would seem to suggest that you're an idiot. How do we know this guy's even qualified? How old are you, Skip? Dr. Husky, there's no need for that. But do I look like an idiot? Like I wouldn't think to do my own investigation? I'm telling you, nothing comes close. Not in South Korea, not in the North, East and West, of anywhere. Look, 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 bring it up. I will prove it to you. I've made it worse. I'm so sorry. Things couldn't be any worse. You tried. It was me. Should have waited for your signal. But she was right there. She can't even bear to be in the same room as me. Can you, Mum? She's in shock. I wish it was me that died in that crash. You do too. That's not true. It's not me who needs to hear that. OK, voice activated technology, any volume, they're not going to have that. Yes, they do, with a built-in filter for background noise. Right. OK, well, um, ease of use. Um, I have an app which can be downloaded to... To any smartphone or tablet. That's uh, affirmative for South Korea. Right. What about accuracy? Any doctor will tell you that accuracy is the key factor in a blood pressure reading. What's this piece of junk got? Right. I don't want to rush you, but I do have another appointment waiting. That we are not leaving till I get my pattern. Uh, there's not going to be a pattern now. Let it go. You spent over half an hour trying to pick holes in that South Korean device. Hasn't happened. It's no reflection on you or your invention. It's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes in mad, bad pattern land. Onwards and upwards, eh? Count with them all. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. It's tough to be pipped at the post, but it's time to get back on that horse. Put that genius to work on something else. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just go home and invent something else. I've got a spare five minutes. <laughs> Is it really expecting too much for you plebs to understand what this means to me? I have dedicated years of my life to this invention. Years! And all for nothing! Counselling isn't a cure. Right, but it might be able to help you kickstart something. I really don't see how counselling can help. It's just words. It won't change anything. OK. It's been months. You have to do something. OK, so you can't make it up with Anna. You and Jared will have to figure out some sort of future for the two of you. And how's that going to happen? 
Come on, Rosemary. What could be worse than this? Eh? Just give it a go, for Jared's sake. You've got nothing to lose. They were born on the same day. So today's Jared's 18th, too. You didn't want any mention of it. He and Luke never spent a birthday apart. Those two always said they'd do something crazy together to mark their 18th. Jared. Cinderella, you shall go to the ball. Excuse me? It's all in there. Who's in charge? What activities they do? Activities. Mm -hmm. Every church within a five mile radius and eight. Look at this column here. That's all the best bus routes. It's a very comprehensive list. You've made a great deal of effort. On well, this. have a read through. See what's enough and make your choice. Off you go. Anyway, I don't There's know. There's got to be something among this that, that ticks all your boxes. <laughs> Look, chair aerobics on a Wednesday, yeah. seven till nine. Uh, not quite at chair aerobics, <laughs> Yes, sorry. Oh, there's a special group doing like a shared quilt. I think yeah, they're like, trying to do a wonderful. world record attack. You're a nurse, Marcus, please! I, uh, I just need to make myself a cup of tea. Rosemary, they are treating him for an overdose, but they say he should be fine. Thank you. Thank you. I thought about leaving him to die. I really did. You really don't have to. But then I saw Jared lying there, and it brought it all back. No mother should have to lose her son. To feel that terrible pain. I don't know what I've been doing since. Anna, it's okay. I don't know who I am anymore. Luke's gone, and I can't. Hurting you won't change that. Won't change anything. I'm sorry. Rosemary! Jared, you could have died. My baby. But he didn't. Okay? He is back there and he needs his mom. So where do you think you're going? It's better this way. Your only son is going through hell and you are making things ten times worse. How could that possibly be better? Anna says she was sorry. Because she realises that nothing will bring Luke back and she knows that she is wrong to blame you. What if it is my fault? All of it. Okay, you're gonna have to help me out here. Luke was always... Miles ahead of Jared in everything. School, sports, girlfriends. But as soon as Jared got behind the wheel, he was a natural. I made such a fuss of him when he passed his test. I went straight out and bought him that souped up car. That sounds like any proud mum to me. But don't you see? If I hadn't, none of this would have happened. I as good as killed Luke. And now I've nearly killed Jared too. So what's your plan? You're just gonna punish yourself and Jared for the rest of your life? I don't deserve him. And he's better off without me. Guilt is tough, right? You can't deny it. And so is hate. But that does not mean that you can't face it. Start to deal with it. Look at Anna. Anna's so much stronger than me. She might be. Oh, but she is not Jared's mom. Anna. I can't 
can't ever thank you enough. I hear Jared. What's he? Marquez, I just wanted to thank you all you have put into researching these local churches. Oh, listen, I'm sorry I got it so wrong. You know what I'm like, just blundering in. I can be a right insensitive idiot no, sometimes. No, 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 no. I think I am the one who has got it drunk. I am going to take your excellent list home and study it properly. And when Sunday comes, who knows? Good. See you Monday. Yeah, good night. There's no need to do the full monty, Mr. Foxhall. The whole congregation knows my situation. My reputation is in tatters. Do you know who it was? I didn't even defend myself. They're trying to fit me up for assault. Well, surely you don't think I've done don't this, Steve? Will you stop making excuses? This time next year, you could be a millionaire. Discovering a heritage.